After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. <laughs> Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, Mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man could take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You called psychic, Paul? Either that or I ate something funny. Knowing your mother's cooking, seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. That should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is, there's this one guy, and he goes out in search of his... So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is... Absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. <laughs> it's getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. You OK? 
Okay, old man? You don't look so good. Get my gun. Oh. Oh. God damn it. You brought this on yourself! I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I... Well... You okay, darling? You okay? Oh. Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Jack! Get out here! Now! Oh, good Lord, what's happened? Mama! Careful, boy. Mama! Stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now. Child, I'll treat you like one. into you sick crazy bastards or what I've done to you but I'm going to get help stay calm as calm as you can seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited probably just a fever Jack be kind to your mother Abigail teach the boy right from wrong both of you stop biting chunks out of people be back as soon as I can <laughs> I best go find me a doctor in town.
on here. You went back to Yale. Well, I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research, <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Well, well sir, I am a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why ain't that dandy? What, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure. Or fight to the death trying. Well, well, that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. <laughs> I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. But, no, no, be, perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my bag. Wait, you should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. <laughs> I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. Uh, you remember him, uh, Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, but a good sort. Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. <sighs> Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? In here, mister. Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Bad joke. I mean, come out. Become a family, mister. And mine, I fear. Sorry. We were so glad to see my mom. Cause she's been dead for three years from the smallpox. Your mama was dead? I saw her walk up onto the porch. And then boom! She ate my daddy. You weren't you weren't a bad man, mister. You weren't. Sure. He liked to drink, but, but he weren't bad. And sure, he liked the company of women, but he weren't bad, mister, he weren't. No one deserves to have their blood drunk. I mean, he knew how to use his fist. And if, if a woman spoke out her place, he reminded her of it and everything. And when my mama was dying, people said that he was lying with her sister, but that weren't true, mister, it weren't. But you said your mother was dead. Yeah, her and Mr. Braithwaite. He's been dead a year. 
And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals. All the dead folk have come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. It's a funny kind of salvation. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. My God. I'm gonna go have a look. You wanna come? I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Here, mister. Take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. Hey, mister! You see my Uncle Mordecai? You burn him. Burn him real good, you hear? Be serious. Not my day.
Folks okay? Oh, just fantastic. I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. Thanks for asking. I'm kind of sorry I did. Sorry, mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? Well, it's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border or things like this happen. My daughter was just some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. And I pay my taxes. Well, usually. I think we may be moving a little off topic here. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Well, thanks for the input, cowpoke. Oh, I got flesh-eating monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. Oh, what in the world has my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh, not now, Doreen. Not this again. You, you, your daddy was a, a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man. Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscence. Is there anything I can do to help? You got any idea of how we can survive? Well, you could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool. Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. See? That fella ain't hiding away like a little girl who's wet herself. I thought we agreed we should stick together. <laughs> so we're just gonna stay up here till we either starve or have to eat each other? Hey, you one of them, mister? Do I look like one of them? Well, don't come no closer. We made that mistake before, lost half our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? They can't speak. Well, I ain't taking no chances. Kill him! He's one of them! Yeah. No, I ain't! Don't take no chances, Silas. Have it your way, all right? Listen. I ain't coming no closer. Do you know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with the glass eye. He caused this. No, no, no. It's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. All right, we heard a lot of stories, mister. Some say it's a moon. Some say it's drugs. Hey, don't come no closer now. Stand back. 
Apparently it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. And it looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's the glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. Oh, Connie McTavish, you don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. I bet your husband's glad he's dead. <gasps> well, at least my husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billingsgate. You say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash! Yeah, yeah, now how are we gonna rebuild America like this? Now, see, I thought we had it all decided. We was gonna be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader, who happens to be me. Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America, and good luck. We never had that decided. We decided we would hold elections and that I would be leader. You can't even read. Well, I, I got gravity. Well, I mean, gravy. I mean, uh, folk respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me. Now pay him. <laughs> I knew it.
Get myself into this. This is pure madness. You're mine now. I got you now, freak. Goddamn demon. Sick animal. Almost got you. I must be out of my mind. Foul creature of the night. That's it. Deranged creature. Now I'm in trouble. What am I doing here? These goddamn creatures. Come on. Slow it up now.
that's all you've got for me? I don't believe it. Damn. You won't be needing that. Mister, hey, I got one. Got what, mister? The damn Sasquatch, the filthy thing was gonna eat my dog when this girl hollered out, and I shot the thing right through the heart. Boom, like that. You feeling all right, mister? I've seen a lot of strange things recently, but no Sasquatch running around here, nor no place else. They, they're made up. There's Sasquatches every place, cowboy. They're nastier than your mother-in-law with a bad case of that virus. Down in Manzanita the Post, they ate a little girl. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? The hills are infested with them. Kill them. Kill the bastards before they kill all of us. Kill them. Kill them. I ain't afraid of you, you dumb, hairy bastards.
human. Shoot me. Oh, I will, you foul creature of the night. You'll be granting me peace. Why's that? Keep you from eating more babies? What in the name of all the traits are you talking about, human? You eat babies. You have to to survive. Everyone knows that. Ain't your fault. We eat berries and mushrooms, you fool. But we did. Now none of us are left. Some maniac's been murdering us. The last of my kind. We've lived in these hills a thousand years. You eat babies. If you say so, human. My family is gone. My kind is gone. Shoot me. I can't take it anymore. Stop!
That sums up my luck recently. Makes you wonder why God done deserted us.
Jump on. It ain't safe out here. I'll give you a quickie later. You're welcome. Now get inside somewhere and board up the door.
sums up my luck recently. Any gifts from the other side, mister? I think I looted you the first time you died. Oh, shit. That'll work. gonna beat this curse if we don't band together. Mine now, partner. Seth. Seth, you okay? What's going on? Oh, hey there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John. He's... He's, 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 a, he's a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, 
Come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? I've seen husbands eating wives. Mothers eating sons. Graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo-hoo! Big tough John Marson is scared of a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Folks! 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 Damn them, folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get him! Get him, Moses! Get him! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get him. Go! Yeah. Get him! Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now, what the hell's going on? The dead have risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh-eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me, same as made Moses. Is there a cure? <sighs> These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. Let's go!
to lose my patience. Damn this godforsaken shithole! As you can see, I'm trying to find out what makes these thingamabobs tick. Sorry about the smell. I'm running low on research subjects, so I'll gladly resupply it if you can get me some monsters to experiment on. Yeah. 